Hello YouTube, Mr. Beam is here with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can modify a tag, a structural tag. So as you can see, um, I have a WebForge platform plan here and I have a TVD of that. Imagine that for any reason, this beam, which I'm going to hit the tab key on the keyboard to select it, and um, it will be selected as a blue color this beam is a temporary beam and imagine that the engineer wants to show the beam with a tag and having star here or asterisk so what i'm going to do is to modify the tag so if i tap hit the tab key on the keyboard and selecting the tag I can check that I have different options like type mark with behind over typical and under so this behind for example if I click on it it will just add a B inside the parentheses but we don't have anything with the star symbol so what I'm going to do is going to edit the family and the thing is with editing the family we can modify this tag and we can use it multiple times and whenever we want to change it to something just reading the the type mark we can just select it here unfortunately in this project and also my previous company i'm seeing that um, drafter is using just normal text like this and just typing that the star rotating that one and putting it there I understand that technically in the print it's a correct stuff but imagine that if I change this profile to something else or if I make this one shorten like this or move it so the tag will move with the elements but that static text will not move so it will just make your life difficult because you have to check two things whenever you want to move the tag you have to move two things the star symbol and also the tag and anyway it's not a smart thing to do with the Revit so it's better to modify the tag so I'm going just to hit the TE Sorry, here is not T is not set in this um, Revit version. So they click on the trim extent, click on this face, click on the beam to fix it again. Okay, I'm going to click on the tag and I'm going to edit the family. So here I'm going to close the 3D to make more space. So I'm clicking one of these tags because it's actually multiple tags stacked on top of each other. And each of them, their visibility is controlled by the visibility. So I'm using the control Z to undo. I'm clicking this one. I'm typing CO for copy and I'm copying somewhere here. I'm clicking on it again. I'm going to the edit label for that one. We need the suffix as star symbol i'm clicking ok so we have to change its visibility let's click on this associate family parameter because we copy pasted um, the label which was already there um, so it is still on the type mark plus so i have to create a new parameter type of the, the parameter will be a type and its name let's say type mark with the star symbol and I'm going to categorize on the graphics clicking on OK clicking on OK then I will just move it to this position so let's go to the family types so 
So I have different type names as I already showed you mark type mark and type mark with behind and blah 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 we don't have anything with with the star for now but we have to fix the family so on the type mark we only want to see the label reading mark so I have to uncheck whatever I created right now for the type mark star symbol so unchecking that one that one uncheck behind only for behind unchecking that one unchecking here under also uncheck typical with instead and plus also instead. so now we need another one a new type let's say type mark star And this time I can check the type mark star and clicking on OK. So now we modified the, the tag. I'm going just to save it. Um, I can save it somewhere and also I can save it in any directory for different companies um, save families. So let's load it into our project and override the existing version and click on the yes something bad will happen see so all the tags just turn to tags with a star why this happened so we have to also fix the tag inside the project so we have to go to the edit type and we have to do the procedure again so now we have a type mark with the star but each of these type also the type mark with the star is checked so we have to uncheck it, uncheck here, uncheck there, behind uncheck it, over uncheck it, typical uncheck it, under uncheck it, plus uncheck it, and type mark star, this is the only one is checked. So let's click on OK. So now it's completely fixed and I'm going just to click on this one so that one let's say it's type mark only this beam and this beam is temporary so I'm going to select both of them two tags is selected and I'm going to select the type mark star so the star will be there whenever I'm moving the, the beam the tag is also will move even if I change the even if I change the profile of the beam let's say for example um, B25A which is 250 UB so easily it will be changed so now we are going to add this one to the legend so in this project we have a legend there i'm going just to double click i'm going to inside the view i'm going to select these two stuff by typing mv i'm going to move them a little bit down to here and i'm going to select this and this and i'm clicking and i'm typing co again for copy i'm copying somewhere here I'm just using the arrows, the arrow down to nudge it a little bit down. Perfect. So this is just a static text. I can just add a star there. That's okay. And we can call it denotes temporary steel beam. Temporary steel beam. Now, on the legend, we have the beams with the star symbol. And clearly, it says that it knows temporary steel beam. I can just right click and deactivate the view. This is how we modify structural framing tag. And 
this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching